Hello students. Today we are going to learn chapter 4 geological investigation study of dam and reservoir site. Okay, let us see what are all the topics covered in this unit. Coming to the first topic, it deals with the required geological consideration mainly for the selection of the dam and reservoir site. <music> Coming to dams, let us see a brief introduction about the dams. Dams are nothing but the barriers which are constructed along a, a river valley to impound the water. So we already know this. Also, dams are built mainly for controlling the floods, irrigation, electricity, generation and also for the urban water supply. Also, Dams may be constructed for a specific use or sometimes it may be multipurpose also which will serve more than one use. Let me repeat, some dams will be multipurpose so dams, okay? Dams may be constructed for a specific use for a specific use or it may be multipurpose which serves more than one use. So, which dams are known as multipurpose dams? The dams which are constructed for more than one specific use. Also, dams are generally classified according to its use, hydraulic design, construction design, and also the material which is used into it. See, the classification of dams are generally depends upon the, let me revise, dams are generally classified according to its use, hydraulic design, construction design. construction design and the type of the material used into it okay and type of the material used okay these are all the classification of the dams how they are generally classified so coming to the main geological considerations in the selection of sites for dams are we have few main reasons the first one is the rocks which are underlying must have the enough strength to withstand the weight of the dam and also the thrust which is coming out of the dam the rocks should be strong enough the second reason is the rock should be impervious to prevent the leakage of water beneath the sole of the dam it is very important what is the second one the rocks should be impervious to prevent leakage leakage of water beneath the sole of the dam okay beneath the sole of the dam also, the rocks should not contain some fissures, joints and falls to prevent the leakage of water. We also be, should be careful that the rocks should not contain, the rocks should not contain fissures, that is weak uh, zones, plains joints and falls to prevent the leakage of water also one has to understand that the ideal site for a dam is therefore which is impervious band of hard strong massive rock which is free from joints throughout the length of the dam this is a summary of the above three points also, as mentioned above, granites, nisses, cysts, etc. will make a very good foundation for a dam. These are all examples which can give a good foundation, which are impervious rock. 
Also, the dams of great height cannot be efficient because they are founded on loose and consolidated strata like the sand and the loam since there will be considerable loss which is mainly resulted by percolation or leakage. Hence, low pressure dams may also sometimes be built on such areas which can be provided with the wide foundations without the openings or crevices. Also, the dam should not be constructed along a fault plane. This is very important. Dams should not be constructed across a fault plane. Also, small fissures and joints may however be sealed with concreting material. If there are some small fissures, they can be sealed. Let me repeat. Small fissures and joints may however be sealed may however be sealed with concreting material okay with concreting material but sometimes in a false plane if sealing is done it may again widen during the earthquakes hence it is not that much preferable better to avoid coming to a reservoir let us see a brief introduction about it generally a reservoir means an enlarged natural or sometimes artificial lake which is pond created using a dam or stored water also reservoir can be created by controlling a stream that drains an existing body of water let me repeat reservoir can be created by controlling a by controlling a stream that drains an existing body of water an existing body of water okay let us see what are the three factors which we have to consider while choosing a reservoir site the first one is the geology of the catchment area how it will affect this affects the proportion of the runoff and also the percolation because sufficient information may be acquired from the existing maps along with additional information which is collected by the observations made at first hand i repeat what you have to get sufficient data information may be acquired from the existing maps from the existing maps along with additional information along with the additional information collected by observations okay collected by the observations made at first hand also what is the second factor you have to take care of the geology of the reservoir area that is nothing but the area which has to be flooded so here the important requirement here is nothing but it should be of no fear of leakage because when the ground is under the pressure with full head of water in the reservoir here the geological mapping on a large scale that is 10 cm to 9 km may be made to collect and assemble the needed data here the location of the water table may also be investigated if necessary and the possible silting up of the site will be taken into the consideration hence the geology of the reservoir area has to be properly surveyed coming to the third geological consideration that is geology and foundation condition so the foundation condition will mainly depend upon the geological character and also what is the thickness of the strata 
which are to be carried the weight of the dam also the inclination the permeability and the relation to underlying strata where already the faults are existing and also some part of the fissures so it's very important to study the foundation condition because it mainly it is directly proportional to the strength of the dam if the foundation is strong the dam may be strong and it has the uh, longest life thank you